Hey yo everyone, this is a happy anime cafe manager here with another let's play for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Okay, so I'm not asking for like peanut butter, I'm just asking for something competent. Okay, we'll probably go with my highest level, b -doof. Where each of those pesky boot beetles wandered off to. Remember, they should let their guard down as long as you have a be another beetle with you. Even though they look like beavers, the Pokedex entry identifies them as plump mouse. Hey, how's the harvest coming along? Call it a great going team. Okay, that's one.
great going team. Nice work that puts all the little troublemakers safely in our custody. Now give them the old heap ho. Son Qua Ho. Heap ho. I'd be ashamed to just send those beetles back into the wild. No, my construction core could find a use for them. Huh, you want to keep them? But these naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction core. They're just a poke. Pokemon being Pokemon, how are they supposed to know our village is strict no chewing zone? Shows good taste on their part to come all the way out here to dawn or woodwork too. But if they're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They've got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus their teeth to gnash through trees and rocks ju just what our core needs. How about little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know? <laughs> Just what I wanted to hear. Hmm. I'm not convinced this lot lot have it in them to do doing the honest day's work. But if Sonic was watching over them, I'm sure it will work out alright. I guess that's settled. Thanks again for your help. Yeah, something new added. Yeah, I haven't evolved Bidu whatsoever. I'll get around the level grinding the Pokemon I want to evolve later. You there, there seems to be someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you try to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here, here's the recipe. Obtain the recipe for crafting Pokeshi dolls. Dolls, three logs of wood. This is a recipe for what I've named Pokeshi dolls. I invented them you see as the special items that we could make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. Yeah, and I have just the amount of wood. Yeah, I'm all out of apricorns. Hmm, what's this? Why, that's a Pokeshi doll if I ever saw one. Please let me have a closer look. Just amazing. Look how smooth you've carved these curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. In these colors, you've definitely given a, a vivid look at, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention, this Pokeshi doll is perfectly balanced at a glance. You think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains upright. View. Thank you. I've savored your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. We used the same recipe and yet your Pokeshi doll had a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made. It, so it took care of 
in crafting it, so have a look and see how it differs from the one you made. Could be sold to the general store. Okay, so the Pokeshi doll's worth a thousand. next Oh, here you are. Oh, are you here? You give me Geo, dude. Oh my, would you look at that. It really does look like a rock and it seems to be the ideal way too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young man, with this Geodude's help. I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. Oh, I got honey cakes and experience candy. Hi, the Clarissa of the security court has me. Thanks so much for taking on my request. I need you to catch Zuban and show it to me so I can look at its eyes. Odd request, I know, but I got a good reason for it. But I never seem to ha have trouble fl flying. But Zuban never seemed to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means their night vision might be top notch. If I could learn how to see in the dark like them, night shifts on guard, there would be a breeze. I'm calling on you to help catch a Zuban and show it to me, would you? Yeah, this, I think this is the only one I have, but it's not worth keeping. I'll just take a look at those peepers if you please, Zubat. Huh? Where are the eyes on this little guy? Don't tell me. It doesn't have eyes but then that means that Zubat flies around while being completely blind 
Hmm, Zubat must have some other kind of secret since it doesn't need eyes. Ugh, that's amazing and all, but it hardly helps me. What am I going to do about my, my nighttime shifts on guard duty? Yo, partner Subat. Oh, that's a good idea. No need for me to go go get it alone. After all, a little help would be great. That's it. That then I'll go out there and find a Zubat to help me as a partner. Thanks for great advice. I didn't even mean to do do that quest, but. So you accepted my request to look into the Drip Loom. I can't tell you what big help that is. Let me fill you in. We heard reports that Drip Loom was playing with one of the village children over on Prelude Beach in the evenings. This seems like an odd behavior for a Pokemon. So of all of us in the security corps worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them. But there was one curious thing. None of them seemed to know anything about a drift loom. But well, so many people from, from the village have report for seeing a Pokemon, we simply can't sim we can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since the, this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need you to find out the truth behind the drift loom and that child it's been playing with. Thanks for watching everyone, until next time, to be continued baby.